with the drug? Um, well, it's very specific only on tumor cells. Um, the case is even so uh, strange that in the time that I have been treated, my liver has regrown on some, uh, some portions uh, which has uh, caused my uh, sample of living to go up again. Um, I've had a, I've had feelings you for a very long time. Uh, I was able to eat. I vomited uh, a lot, almost every day, multiple times. I'm now able to eat almost anything I like. Um, I still have to be careful with some foods, but, but not uh, as much as I uh, used to. And one of the main side effects that uh, has surprised me that my appetite sometimes changes and my, my taste buds. Uh, I, uh, uh, some, uh, some week I like uh, very sweet uh, food and another week I like uh, very different foods. But for, as far as negative side effects, uh, there's only uh, liver cell regeneration, no degeneration, no um, negative side effects. Well, this is something we probably didn't, probably didn't teach you in the course, but liver is the one forgiving tissue that regenerates. And you can actually, uh, in an operation, you can take off a part of the liver, and the rest of the liver will go back to the same size. It's something that's uh, done quite frequently in animals. And so, in the case of a tumor, if you kill the tumor, then it, where it's destroying the liver, what he's trying to say is the liver is actually making a comeback. It's trying to regenerate itself. And um, uh, one of the complications of killing the tumor, and you also to how do you get rid of all that stuff that, you know, is dead tissue. So it puts the really load on things like uh, uh, various metabolic cycles to get rid of the tumor. You have to get rid of the excess nitrogen. So, um, at any rate, you are just an example that it works. So, other questions for you are? Yes? Yes, good What were the symptoms that led to your diagnosis with liver cancer? Um, the, the only symptom that was really obvious was that I began burping a lot. And my, my mom was just like, you know, since she kid, she was 16, stopped burping all the time. But I, 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 I just, such an enormous amount of gas being produced. And I, I, I was just burping all day. And I, I, it wasn't that it, I had pain. It only came in the, 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 the final weeks before uh, I was hospitalized. But that, that, that was really the only symptom. It, it began like nine months. Before uh, I was diagnosed, I started burping and became a bit more, and uh, eating became harder. But I, we didn't really realize that there was something wrong because it's impossible for someone in my age to get liver cancer, <coughs> especially if you have never had any uh, liver disease like uh, uh, hepatitis or something. It's, it's very common that have had hepatitis before you get liver cancer. Uh, and it's unheard of to get liver cancer before you're like 60, 70. So I'm like, it, it, it's a really rare case of uh, a very strong cancer. But when we realized that there really was something wrong, because the burping didn't go away, and I went to the doctor and she felt yeah, well, the liver is enlarged a bit, and I went there and they gave me some uh, stomach acid suppressors. Uh, they didn't work at all. I just kept on burping. So 
so we went back again and yes, it was still enlarged and we should uh, make uh, an appointment with uh, a doctor in the hospital. And uh, the same evening uh, I had an, uh, an infarct of my uh, uh, liver and a piece of the liver uh, died. And uh, that was uh, so painful that they uh, had me hospitalized immediately. My temperature was, uh, uh, well, we do it in centigrade, so uh, 35 centigrade, so this is very low. It's the an immediate sign that there's something wrong. And they tested my blood and my liver values were through the roof, like 15 times as high as normal. And after that, they uh, really put a rush to it. And uh, they came pretty fast to the conclusion that it indeed was cancer. They had no idea where it came from and how it was able so since starting the therapy, you mentioned that you can uh, eat more foods now. Um, would you describe that your well-being is improved as well? I'm sorry? So, um, since starting the therapy, have you felt better? Uh, uh, in the beginning, uh, uh, from uh, the start of my, uh, from the the, the last sort of chemo I had, the next part, uh, I got worse, of course, uh, from chemo. Chemo kills a lot of healthy cells as well. And uh, I, my, my blood uh, started to, to uh, get real thin. Uh, I didn't clot anymore. Uh, if, I, uh, if I got a, a small cut, I would uh, keep on bleeding. And uh, everything went wrong. And uh, after I... Uh, Free bone wire it has only gone up. I, I, I'm better than a year before. Well, I should have been dead for already a year and a half. So, it, uh, since I've started on the free uh, bone wire with it, I've only gotten better. I've uh, had some dips with highs and lows, but uh, I've always come out strong. Other questions? Yes. Um, I was wondering if anyone has looked at your cancer cells and seen what mutations they have, and whether it's related to the enzyme you were telling us about. I didn't understand the question. I was wondering, um, do we know what specific mutations his cancer cells had? Yeah, do you know the mutations? In other words, this is uh, what gene or something the mutation may be in the uh, It's unknown. <clears throat> no. Yep. That's an interesting question, though. So, yes? Um, can you describe a little bit more about how you found out about the drug and just a little bit more about how you got in touch and went through the whole process? Uh, well, my father uh, immediately, immediately uh, started trying to get uh, contacts in the on the internet to find something that might be able to help me, of course, with your child, to try to get the most out of the time you still have left and try to make the best of it. Um, that's uh, around the time that uh, he was really busy with trying to find something that could help him. Uh, I was, uh, out most of the time, um, I wasn't really there. My phone never flew high. I have a, a in my water uh, vein, my liver, uh, which uh, causes uh, uh, dirty blood with a lot of ammonia to uh, run instead of through my liver to be clean, and then back to my body, it runs straight through my uh, uh, brains where the ammonia is uh, disposed of, and that's how I uh, get uh, real high ammonia levels uh, in, in, uh, in a coma as well uh, because of those ammonia levels. And, uh, I haven't had much uh, to do with him finding out about uh, this drug. Um, you should ask him uh, if he's willing to answer that question. Uh, uh, do you want to answer that question? Yes, I do. Um, uh, I've been working in uh, plant research related to uh, finding uh, plant metabolites that are uh, 